There has been a lot of news coverage and discussions about recent studies and reports on the effectiveness of neck gaiters versus other masks. The effectiveness of any neck gaiter and any mask is simply based on the fabric's content and the fabric weave used in each product. We call our neck gaiter our dual purpose tubular headwear because it can be used wet to provide cooling relief as well as used dry. It is made from 100% microfiber polyester fabric that uses an interlock bird's eye weave. Here at Cool Gator, we felt it was important to let everyone know that not every neck gaiter is created equal, just like not every mask is created equal. That is why we created this short video. Although this technically is not a true scientific study, it clearly demonstrates some significant and measurable differences between other neck gaiters compared to the Cool Gator neck gaiters we offer to our customers. We used two different test methods for this demonstration. The first is with a digital anemometer and the second is with a candle. What we have here is a mannequin head with a hole cut into the mouth area. We have an electric air pump affixed into the back of the bust that when turned on provides a steady and consistent air stream that we use to measure the effectiveness of three different neck gaiters. Wind speed test. The first set of tests uses a digital anemometer that is used to measure wind speed. With no covering, the wind speed coming from the mouth area is 3.3 to 3.2 miles per hour. The first product we tested is one of many inexpensive neck gaiters produced overseas. These are made from a very lightweight and thin spandex polyester blend fabric. This fabric is approximately 120 GSM or grams per square meter. This is not our product. As you can see while wearing this product, the wind speed is 1.8 miles per hour. The next mask we test is our economy product, which is also made overseas, but has an approximate GSM of 130. While wearing this product, the wind speed is 1.2 miles per hour. The last product we tested is our dual purpose tubular headwear that has an approximate GSM of 140. While wearing this product, the wind speed is 0.5 miles per hour. As you can see, the different fabrics with different weaves used in each product makes a huge difference in the amount of air that is allowed to pass through the neck gaiters. Candle test. The second set of tests uses a wax candle. This simple candle test has been performed by the Science Guy on several videos and TV newscasts as a basic yet visual method to test a mask's usefulness. The candle was placed at the same height and distance that was used for the anemometer. With no covering, the candle flame is immediately extinguished. With the thin, inexpensive neck gaiter produced overseas, the flame is also quickly extinguished. Once again, this is not our product. The next mask is our economy product, which is also made overseas, but is made from a thicker fabric. As you can see, the candle flame gets blown pretty hard, but still does not get blown out. And finally, we test our dual purpose tubular headwear made from 100% microfiber fabric. As you see here, the flame hardly registers a flicker with our product being used. Once again, you can see that the different fabrics with different weaves used in each product makes a huge difference in their ability to protect the flame from being extinguished. We hope this video has been helpful to demonstrate quite clearly that not all neck gaiters are created equal. Please feel free to share this video with your friends.